So we're here in the demo Friday. Uh, here. So who are you? Uh, I'm Pete Griffin. I work in the Lenaro Home Group. Uh, at Lenaro. Um, yeah, we're, today we're demoing some uh, Opti DRM integrations with uh, PlayReady and Nuki. Um, and uh, what is it working on? The high, high key? Or what are you, or? Uh, so, this is uh, the TI X15 high security board. Uh, this came out of PlayReady encrypted stream. It's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice little board. Uh, we also have it running on uh, high key. Uh, the, the popular TV reference platform that we're, uh, is a work in progress at the moment. We've got this nice case here from Daniel Thompson, who I think you uh, uh, interviewed uh, yeah. the other day. Um, nice. He does cool cases? He does. He's got a la laser, laser engraver, so you can see the LHG logo and uh, nice. nice 96 boards. He probably runs it from the ARM developer box. Probably does. Yeah. Uh, and we've been working a lot with uh, NXP on the IMX AM uh, new SOC for Secure Data Path. So this is Cyril who's been working on it, and uh, I'll, I'll let him uh, explain more. All right. So what we did is uh, we have built the Secure Data Path yeah. using the hardware IP provided by the i.mxm SOC, which is a new SOC for uh, IPTV, voice assistant, or uh, soundbar. It's running, it's right here? Yes, this one, yeah. So you can connect uh, up to three HDMI output. You can connect one camera. You have HDMI output, it's 4K, Dolby Vision, HDR10. It uh, will support soon Dolby Atmos. So we have currently integrated Android 8.1 with uh, full treble enable. And uh, I will pick you, explain you uh, the security IP we added. So the, the main one is uh, the RDC. It's a resource domain controller. Okay. So, uh, so, so that is, it sounds like it's a lot of uh, a lot of things happening at the same time, right? You yes. Lots of stuff. This board is new. The, the yes, it's very new. Yeah. The IMX 8 m has just been like uh, available now. Yes. The GA is for, for Android will happen in two or three weeks. On the Linux one uh, will happen uh, end of June. So what does that mean? Does that mean people that make, uh, let's say, set-top boxes with this uh, yes. platform will have, uh, they will have Opti, they will have yes. open source security, ATF, DRM, everything, yes, everything. they will have the best, latest Android? Yes, except for PlayID on the um, Y1, for which uh, they will have to sign something with Microsoft or uh, Google. But for uh, ClearKey, uh, they will be able to, to use ClearKey and to have uh, Secure data pass for ClearKey. The Play Radio Widevine has uh, is fully supported in Opti. It's yes. just a question of getting the yes. authorization. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, what else are you talking about here? What do you have on this on this wall? Oh, what are you talking about there? It explains how uh, using the uh, hardware IP, the secure hardware IP inside the i.mxm8, we have built a secure video pass. So we have used the RDC, resource domain controller. And the resource domain controller allow to isolate uh, all the uh, different uh, hardware IP inside the, the, the chip. So we have almost 100 uh, IP we can isolate. So we can have up to four domains. So to implement a secure video pass, it is a, a, a subsample of uh, a secure data pass. We have created four domains. We have CPU in domain zero, CAM in domain one. CAM is a cryptographic acceleration module. We put the VPU in domain 2 on the DSCSS. DCSS is the display controller uh, subsystem. It's our hardware composer <coughs> that allow to uh, output the HDMI on to manage the PCP. So on for each domain, using the RDC, we can create memory regions and we can have up to 52 regions on the uh, 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 same regions for, for example, the decrypted one can have different read and write permissions depending in which domain we are trying to access it. So, as I explained, we put CAM in domain uh, one, and so that means that CAM is only allowed to write in this buffer. VPU is only able, allowed to read from here and to write there. 
And so if for any reason you hack Android, Linux, or the T, and you ask Android to change uh, this buffer or this one, the RDC will lock the access, the access so it's fully secure. Because when you try to, to write outside of this buffer, you try to write outside of this one, nothing will happen. If you try to read outside this buffer with a VPU, nothing will happen, RDC will return zero. So it's fully secure. If you try to dump the memory, you will have a black frames instead of the video. So is this uh, a specific security that's on the IMX 8M? Yes, it's... Uh, or is it in no. the software? No, it's hardware. It's hardware really, security? It's, yes, it's hardware security. World? Yes. World system? Yes. It's completely like, isolated at, at bus level. Nobody else have this? I think so, yes. So, uh, but but so with the Linaro, you're doing um, uh, getting all the, the open source to support yes. this part. Yes, and then in fact we took uh, the Opti from uh, Linaro. We took the <coughs> Ion, Ion buffer management uh, integrated into the PlayReady on Wildwine Android plugin from Linaro. Then we have a patch OpenMax on our VPU driver to support Ion buffer, and then we use the RDC plus Trust Zone AC to protect the Ion Buffer. So it's secure at Trust Zone level, and it is secure at RDC level. So uh, how is it, uh, uh, the, how is it this, this Linaro Connect? What kind of uh, work have you been doing in the past few months? Uh, how did you work together in, as a team in the LHD to do, get all this done? Uh, well, Alex uh, is the NXP assignee, um, who we've been working with a lot. Um, also working with Cyril taking the LHG uh, TAs like Widevine and ClearKey, PlayReady, and, and integrating it on this SEC. Those specific uh, security models that are in the IMX 8M, like uh, working within the NARA community to get perfect support on there? <clears throat> Is that part of what you were doing? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, so it's been a good collaboration, um, and we're really pleased to see it working. So is this... Um, this is not seen before in all the set-top box, TV, smart TV, all this. There's not this kind of hardware security. I don't think so. I think, I think it, at uh, microcontroller level, it is probably the first secure video pass uh, at this level of security. So there's a, there's a quad-core ARM Cortex-A53. Yes. And there's a Cortex-M4 doing the hardware security. No, the, in fact, the Cortex-M4 is managing the low-power mode. So, for instance, if you have a voice assistant, the M4 will be able to detect Alexa, and then it will wake up the A53 to manage the high power uh, part of the voice assistant. So which part of the hardware does the security? In fact, uh, it's a dedicated hardware, so for the security, and it can be managed by the A53 or by the M4, both. So it's another part? Yes. It's, a, it's, it's a, not a DSP, it's not a something... It's no, no, it's a IP block, as a trust zone IC. Right. And then we, we configure the RDC controller at, in the ATF, and then we lock the register till the next reboot. So only ATF is able to manage the RDC rules. And this is mostly for the home group. But our yes. IMX 8M is going to come for many different markets, right? It's, it's like for IoT also? Or? It's a, maybe a little bit big for IoT. It's mainly for voice assistant, soundbar, uh, IPTV, set top box, HDMI sticks. This kind of application. For automotive, it will be another uh, range it's of... compact, is also a affordable yes. solution maybe? Yes. Uh, so it's released now? It's going to be mass, mass... Yes, it's already, we already shipped some, uh, shipped some uh, devices to the customers. Boards. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes. All right. Cool, that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let me check around over here. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Hey, what's up? Uh, so, so who are you and what are you working on? Um, I am Siva Subramanian. Um, he's Murti, my colleague. Hello. And we are uh, Comcast assignees uh, for LG. And uh, what is the demo that you have here? Uh, so we are demonstrating uh, clear key encrypted content playback on uh, WP browser um, <coughs> with Opti. Um, so this uses uh, Linaro CDM, CDMI. So we have added 
uh, WP browser support to the Lenaro CDM and we are demonstrating clear key uh, DRM playback on uh, WP browser. So and uh, it's uh, running on a high key? Yes. RDK? Yes, it's uh, on a high key board and uh, uh, we have put, already ported a RDK media client image on to high key and on top of that we are demonstrating this uh, secure content means encrypted, uh, clear key encrypted content playback. And yeah, maybe I can. Right. RDK is a very big platform for the uh, the Comcast is using it all their set of boxes or. Yeah, RDK it's uh, being widely used in US and it's being uh, spreading and developing across uh, Europe also re recently. It's optimized for the TV set the box market. Yes, it's uh, it's an open source uh, media stack. So it's developed by Comcast. So, uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. And this demo shows. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm um, uh, running uh, that YouTube EME application on the WP browser, and I can uh, demonstrate the clear key video playback. So this is browser uh, window, and this is the uh, prints from the trusted application. So the uh, decryption happens on the secure world. All right, on the hardware security. Yes. All right. Cool. So it's ready. It's working. Yes. Yeah, it's working. It's yeah, working. you can see the test cases. So what's next? What are you going to work on before next connect? Uh, so next, the plan will be on. Uh, full uh, secure data path. Uh, currently this doesn't have a hardware acceleration, it doesn't have a hardware acceleration and the secure data path. So next plan will be a, a board with full ac hardware acceleration as well as full uh, secure data path. So maybe a, a popular board or IMX board. So Cool. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Hey, let's check uh, the, over there, the last demo in the corner. <laughs> what do you have over here? This is a uh, high key. This is your demo. Oh yes, this is to show the heap reviewed uh, on the hacky board. So yeah. it's, it's showing what? DVB? Oh, not DVB. DVB. No. We can ask Barrow to show. Barrow is doing that. Okay. Yeah. What you are doing? Uh, uh, what is what is going on here? This is the hacky uh, six uh, nine six port. Yeah. And you're running the this uh, this version. Yes, the. Uh, it was the uh, P preview build. Uh, yeah, we run it on uh, uh, Hackbox and we want to show it here. It's to say that uh, we are working on it to make it uh, work smoothly with the, the Lava uh, on the CI, the other the nano uh, uh, ecosystem. Yeah, cool. but there, 